I can't afford it. I mean, it's that's even it's confronting to say that. Yo, what is up everyone? It is Mladen here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I want to walk you guys through my thought process that's been happening over the past two hours. So, currently my phone has just expired, uh, the, the plan. I've, I'm up, I've completed 24 months and I have the option to upgrade. I originally came in to just upgrade my SIM plan so I can start budgeting a little bit more because I'm currently in the process of um, building my home, basically. So, anyway, I was enticed and and uh, influenced by the Optus staff member with a great deal on a great plan. Um, on top of that, they even wanted to waive six months worth of repayments and give me a free Samsung watch and give me uh, Galaxy earbuds. So you can imagine hearing this and so on and so forth. It just it was too good. However, with that being said, I was just about to accept the contract. Got everything cleared, everything stated by them, all the extras, all the um, six months waived of repayments. Um, I had everything in black and white, so there was no issues. And if I could, if I needed to contest it, I, I would later down the track, so on and so forth. Then, a part of my brain said, "Hey, man, like, what are you doing? You entered this conversation with a goal to start budgeting a little bit more, so you can bring down your phone plan, uh, you can bring down your SIM plan to what you actually need it for." And it's to operate business and work. That shouldn't be costing you, you know, $115 a month. That should be costing you $40 to $50 a month. Maybe even less than that. So I went and spoke to my father. And I'm like, Dad, this is the go. Um, I was, you know, all excited and all this stuff. And he's just looked at me like this. And he's quite stoic. <laughs> so if anyone asks, if you want to know what stoic means, it's just you're very neutral. Um, you're very old school. And you don't let emotions sort of um, influence your judgment and actions. So he looked at me and he's like, what, what are your priorities? And I was like, you're right. What are my highest values? What are the things that I actually do learn and teach the people is if it aligns with your values you will do it however if it doesn't then you shouldn't be doing it in this case I value finances quite a lot to the point where I'm investing I've diversified my portfolio now diversifying into real estate building my own home but it comes at a cost of budgeting like there's no sugarcoating you need to budget and there's gonna be a lot of sacrifices I, which I've been doing for a very long time. And it would be such a shame if I was to be influenced to get onto this good deal, good plan. It starts off really good and then get struck with a very high phone bill for 18 months. And I'm like, you know what? Thanks that you, you reminded me. You reminded me to be sensible in this situation. Thank you. I appreciate that. And that, ha that conversation only just happened a few minutes ago. And um, yeah, I ended up talking with the, uh, the rep from Optus. And I'm like, you'll have to forgive me. And I'm so sorry that I've now wasted literally like almost two hours of your time um, of us going back and forth. I did not even mean to do that whatsoever. But I can't afford it. I mean, it's that's even... It's confronting to say that, but I can't afford it for the right reasons. What I can afford it is 
a plan that will allow me to do what I need to do with a perfectly functioning phone and the phone that I'm holding in my hand is a 1.5k phone <laughs> but I use it for filming um, but still I have I have what I need why do I need more so I'm sharing this because if you ever get stuck in a situation where there is a really good deal, you need to jump onto it, just step away from it and ask yourself, do I genuinely need this? Come back to it in an hour, in, in a day's time from now. Even speak to someone just before you make that decision may save you a lot of financial pressure in the future. But yeah, on that note, guys, I'll uh, love you and leave you. And until next time, love, peace, and bless.